What's poppin' YouTube? It's finally about time I put out a full course on Shopify dropshipping. You heard that right, so this video is gonna be a full A to Z guide, walkthrough, step by step, on how to start a dropshipping store from scratch and be successful with dropshipping and e-commerce. So if you're new here, welcome. My name's Nathan Nazareth. This is my YouTube channel. I talk a lot about dropshipping, e-commerce, and just how to make money online. And the world is changing, guys. Dropshipping is a different game than it was a couple years ago. So that is one of the reasons why I'm putting out this full course, and I want this to be a one-stop shop for you guys. I want you guys to come here to this YouTube video, have absolutely everything you need. This is gonna be a full toolkit, and down below in the links are gonna be all my resources. Everything that I talk about will be down there. So all you need to do, guys, is stay on this video, Stay on this link. There's absolutely everything here for you guys to start your own dropshipping store and have success in 2021 and beyond. And so if you didn't already know, dropshipping is an amazing way to build a business. It's an extremely lean start, which means it doesn't require a lot of capital up front. And that's simply because when you're selling a product, once a customer purchases your product, you can actually order the product from a supplier and send it directly to that customer. You're not holding any inventory. You don't have to spend thousands of dollars up front. You spend as you go and you make sure you're profitable along the way. That's why dropshipping is such an amazing business model to get into. And that's why it can lead into growing a massive e-commerce brand from literally a couple hundred bucks. That's all you guys need to start out with. So if you're new here, you wanna start a side hustle, you wanna create an extra source of income, you're already a dropshipper, you just wanna know more, stick around. This course is gonna be worth it for you 100% and it's completely free. Not to mention, even if you know dropshipping or building a business isn't right for you in the long term, learning this stuff is huge. All of these skills are directly transferable into so many different career paths and things you can do out there in the online world right now. And the digital world is rapidly increasing, so having some of these advertising or marketing skills, being able to design and build a website, this stuff is crucial and will help you in so many different areas of your life moving forward. So I highly recommend you stick around and watch this course. Now, just before we get started into all the value here i just want you guys to go down smash that like button for me subscribe to the channel and comment and remember guys those three things and you're automatically entered in my giveaway every single week i'll be announcing the winner at the end of this video and then the next winner at the end of next week's video all right guys so first off i like to break down dropshipping e-commerce into four main components now the first one here is products then there's storefront marketing and then finally back end and I have them in this particular order because that will be the most beneficial for you when going through, you know, maybe you wanna watch this course side by side while you're building your own store. So this order is the way that I do things and I've found to be the best way. So starting off with products, we are actually gonna be working backwards and before finding our winning product to go and launch a store with, we're first gonna find a supplier. And why we're gonna do this is because suppliers open up so much more opportunity. You need to be building your list of suppliers who are in China, who have factories, maybe they're US suppliers. Regardless, you need to be building your list of suppliers and this is gonna be hugely beneficial because not only will you get faster shipping times, better communication and reliability, better product quality, and just have another person there in your business to communicate with, but they can also give you products so you can stay ahead of the curve. And so that's why having your list of suppliers is gonna turn into winning products anyway. So that's why I'm saying, first thing we need to do is we need to go out and get you guys some suppliers. All right, so any wholesaling website, Alibaba, Made in China, whatever it is, you can go and find suppliers on. My favorite way is to just go straight over here to AliExpress and you can literally click on any category. Honestly, it does not matter. So if we go over here to men's fashion, let's find something that's sold uh, relatively a lot. So this one here, summer hiking pants, 634 sold. So let's click on this listing and scroll down to the bottom. Now we can take a look at the supplier. So typically what I'm looking for with suppliers is at least five to 10,000 followers minimum so that we know they're relatively large, they service a lot of clients, they might have a decently sized warehouse or factory. So this one has 61,000 followers, so it clearly hits the marker there. And typically I look for around 95% positive feedback to ensure that they're not ripping people off. Their product quality is probably pretty good, their communication, reliability, all that stuff is up to par. Now this supplier is at 94.4%, but it's close enough. So this actually is a good example of somebody who I would contact. And then simply all I do from there is go ahead and hit contact and it's gonna bring me to the message center. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draft up a message that looks something like this.
Okay, now, so you see what I've done here? is I first wrote a message that says, hey, I'm an experienced drop shipper. I'd love to partner with you. That's gonna get them interested because remember guys, these suppliers, they wanna sell product just as badly as you wanna sell product. So why wouldn't they wanna team up with an experienced drop shipper who knows how to move product? Even if you're not an experienced drop shipper, dropping a line like this can definitely help get that message back. And then the next thing that you wanna do is you wanna give them a means of communication. So what I've found, the big three are Skype, WhatsApp, and WeChat. So as you can see here, I've dropped WhatsApp down here. And if you noticed, I've cleverly put a space between each letter in WhatsApp, and I did this for a very specific reason. This is because if you just put the term WhatsApp, AliExpress is automatically gonna flag that, they're gonna not send the message, and a whole <laughs> host of problems might occur. So I would definitely avoid that at all costs. That is because AliExpress wants you to stay on their platform. Remember, they take like seven or 8% fees on every transaction. So they don't want you going out and talking to these suppliers separately and then doing your orders that way because they want to make a cut on every single sale. Now, simply guys, you want to rinse and repeat this process with tons of suppliers in tons of different markets. And why I said it doesn't really matter on the niche or the product that you chose is because what I've found is a lot of these suppliers, they have factories in China or warehouses. So it doesn't matter that they're simply selling these summer hiking pants. They probably have hundreds or thousands of products. They probably work with tons of different drop shippers as well, which is gonna give you the upper hand because when you're messaging with these suppliers, once you get them to WhatsApp or Skype, and you ask them, hey, what's moving right now? What's selling? I'm experienced, I'll, I'll list it up for sale and I will make some orders on it. Then they'll probably give you a list. They'll probably give you access to behind the scenes and show you what the other dropshippers who are working with their factory are selling right now. That's gonna give you the best winning products to sell hands down for sure. There are a lot of other methods to find winning products, but this one has consistently found me winners and not a lot of other dropshippers like to talk about this or expose this, but trust me, all the big dogs, all the big dropshippers out there are doing this. They're communicating with suppliers in China and getting those winning products hand selected and handed to them on a silver platter from these agents and suppliers. Now, of course, I always recommend to diversify your product research methods. So of course, that method being my number one, there are a bunch of other great methods that also serve other purposes. So for example, I'm on Drop by Spy here, and no, this is not a promotion or anything. I'm just genuinely showing you guys what I use. So with Drop by Spy, essentially they put a collection of winning Facebook ads on their platform every single day. So I just like to come here and honestly just click drop shipping. It's faster than going through the filters for me. And I can instantly get access to a bunch of different drop shipping products and I can scroll through. For example, what is this oxygen concentrator? Then I might click details on this product and I go to shop now. And I can now go straight to the website. So again, Drop by Spy is a great platform for going straight to competitor websites, for doing competitor research. So let's say you're selling a posture corrector and you go to the filters and you type in posture corrector. That's gonna then allow you to easily find all the other advertisers, see what they're doing, see their video ad creatives, see their websites, all that kind of stuff. But as you can see, we're now here on a website directly which we found from Drop by Spy. And so that's gonna give us the upper hand to find winning products, poach them from other websites, stuff like that. And I'll show you a prime example of this at play. So if we go, so a massive dropshipping website that I actually found from Drop by Spy was this one called Artichure. Now it's really nice to build a collection of these big general stores, another great way to find winning products. And I guess it's also tied to using Drop by Spy. But as we can see here, now we have access to a whole host of winning products. We can see the Light of Life, the Marsan speaker table, the Halo Light, all these products are doing very well clearly for this massive e-commerce or dropshipping brand. And this is just another great way to diversify your product research. And that's pretty much all I do for product research. And once you've landed on a product, by the way, this product was a recommendation from one of my agents. This is a dual screen or a tri-screen monitor. So here you can see the product here. I'll just open up into it. But essentially, once you've landed and found yourself a product, now it's time to do some competitor research. I'm not gonna go too in depth on this because it's, it's quite frankly really simple. All you wanna do is search the internet, find other sellers selling your product, see what price point they're selling it at, see what type of content they're using, what type of marketing angle, what type of approach they're taking, 
Also go to Amazon. Amazon a lot of the times will have dropshipping products, especially ones that you might be selling on there. And you can go and look at their features, what they've written about the product, because obviously Amazon is a massive competitor. They're probably selling more of that product than all the other e-commerce stores combined, to be honest. So make sure you check out all the big players and also some of the smaller players. Just do your due diligence, guys. Go to your competitor research, see what's working out in the market for other people, and then come back with a good idea and get ready to start building out your product page. Now, as you can see on my store here called Edge Screens, I have the two different variants. I have the dual screen and the tri-screen monitor. So this is something that I love to do with pretty much all my stores. Once I find a winning product or a product that I wanna test, for example, in this case, the monitors, I put them on the store and then I might add more variants or add other related products. For example, I might add other peripherals such as a mouse or maybe a desktop monitor or other products as we go because you want to add more products in that niche maybe upsell products that people are going to buy alongside this product you want to increase your aov as much as possible so i'm probably still going to be looking at finding other winning products and adding them to this store but that's one thing guys personally in my opinion there's three different types of stores so we have a one product store a niche store and a general store if you didn't already know a one product store of course is just centered around your one winning product a niche store is a store where you take a host of different products from the same niche. For example, maybe you're selling cooking products and you have a blender, a toaster, all that kind of stuff under one roof. Now you have a general store and general stores are essentially like Amazon. They sell everything under the sun. A lot of Shopify dropshipping general stores will look very generic and they'll have a bunch of different winning products such as a posture corrector. And then next thing you know, you'll be looking at a fidget spinner. And so in my personal experience, what's worked best for me is one product stores or niche stores. So I like to steer clear of general stores for the most part, just because quite frankly, Amazon is just so king right now. Nobody is touching them and they are just the perfect general store. It's really tough to compete. Your goal, especially moving forward, is to create a real brand. A couple years ago, yes, a general store could have worked, but now in the day of Amazon Prime, awesome customer experience for a lot of customers using Amazon, extremely fast shipping. It's just tough for smaller players like us to compete with that. And the only way we can is by building our own brand, having our own story, giving people a reason to pay a marked up price for our product. That's what dropshipping in 2021 and beyond is all about. And so I'm actually gonna tell you between one product and niche stores, I like a hybrid of both. So what I mean by that is my ideal store is to find first a one product store. For example, this monitor store. And then from there, have it be in a niche with a passionate audience. So for example, this niche might be related to uh, gaming, tech, all of those things very, very passionate. Again, working from home, very hot markets right now. So then what I can do is I can expand on that market and grow a niche store out of my one product. I might first test this one product if it's working well, then I can expand, add other products and turn my one product store into a full fledged niche store. That is my personal favorite thing to do. And I think that's the best way to build a branded Shopify dropshipping store moving forward. And now just before we move on from the product section, I wanna give you guys a list of great niches that you could be selling into right now. So let's start with home decor, lighting, couples, gardening, kitchen and cookware, tech, toys and games, health and wellness slash orthopedics, beauty, cleaning, and fitness. Just to name a few, those are some great passionate niches that have a passionate audience ready to buy and you can sell tons of different products. I've seen tons of dropshipping products in all those niches. I've personally had success in many of those niches. So that's just to name a few and give you guys an idea on a niche store that you can get started with. And that's pretty much all I do for product research. But essentially, once you've landed and found yourself a product, now it's time to do some competitor research. All right guys, so we are flying. Now we're on to component number two, which is storefront setup, design, all that kind of stuff. Back to my example of a store that I recently set up with the monitors here. As you can see, I'm using the theme called Impulse. So I wanted to touch on this theme. It's a great theme. I think it's like 100 or 150 bucks or something. Uh, so it's an excellent theme to have for pretty much any store that you use. Now, a couple other themes that I always use. Debutify, completely free. I talked about it in my last video. And then also uh, Portland Turbo. Uh, Turbo Chicago, 
Um, anything by Turbo, it's an excellent fast theme, looks really, really clean, looks nice. So I just wanted to point out, those are a few themes that I use on the regular, but I've gone ahead and used Impulse. I find Impulse to be a really nice theme for building out niche stores. And now I'm gonna quickly shamelessly plug my own service here. So we build custom made Shopify stores at Outright Ecom. The link's gonna be down below. And for 150 bucks, you can pick up a one product store or 200 bucks a niche store. I'm also gonna give you code outright family right now if you want 20% off this. So you can come and pick up as many stores as you want. Perfect for testing products. Uh, we build these high converting stores. We install paid themes. We do absolutely everything for you and hand it over for you guys ready to go. So if you did want that, it'll be down below in the description. There'll be a link for it. Uh, go ahead and pick yourself up a store. Really good investment. I do this all the time when I'm testing products. My own team comes in, helps me build it. I just put the finishing touches on it, the final sprinkles, and this saves me so much time and allows me to test so many products. Uh, so yeah, that was my quick plug there. Go check it out, link down below. And now back to the video. Now, before we quickly go in and examine this theme that I've built here, I'm not gonna go too in depth with the store design and setup and all that. And I'll tell you why right now. It's because two short weeks ago, I released a video a 20 minute video in how I build my high converting sites in literally under 20 minutes so that video is gonna be the perfect walkthrough video if you were building a store out but I'll quickly go through a few key points right now and then we can jump into the next section so I'm just gonna go over here and preview so let's just hit customize and so a lot of these store layouts are gonna be the same I build all of my stores very very similar so with the impulse theme here you can see I have a menu set up I got the home page, the try screen, and the dual screen, and then they contact us. So typically, it would just be a one product thing. If it was a one product store, so it might just say edge screens, and that would be the page that takes you to the landing page. But since I have the try screen and the dual screen, I decided to put them both up there on the menu. And then as you can see, one main photo, I le love to preach about having a clean photo on the home page. I think a whole lot of text and pop-ups and distractions is too much keep it clean, keep it simple, choose a clean font, choose a nice quality photo. And these photos, I didn't even take myself. I love to talk about custom content and the importance of it as well, but sometimes that's not always an option when you're selling a $500, $600 product and you wanna just test the waters before going ahead and ordering, spending a couple hundred dollars on the product. So that's what I did here. I got my supplier to send me these photos. I think I found a few on AliExpress or Alibaba as well. And then I just wrote up a few little paragraphs about the product. I'm not gonna go too much into copyright if you do wanna pause the video and see exactly what I did. I'm just scrolling through here on the homepage. And then one thing that I love to do is add the product directly onto the homepage too. Especially if it's a one product store, that just encourages people to you know, add the product to their cart wherever they are on the page, whether they're on the home screen or the landing page. It just reminds them, hey, here's the product. Look at these beautiful photos. Uh, answering any questions they have on the side here with these drop down menus. Uh, part of the theme, by the way, and then going ahead and showing that sale price and really encouraging them to go and add it to cart. Now at the bottom, another massive clean photo there. And then the footer set up how I always set it up, a few quick links, search, home, FAQs. Now FAQs you don't always need, but depending on the product, this is a high ticket expensive tech product. So people are naturally gonna have a lot of questions before they go and buy this. It's not one of those things, not a fidget spinner where you buy it on impulse in two seconds without even thinking. This product definitely takes a little bit more thought and needs some questions to be answered first. Then we can see the refund policy, shipping policy, privacy policy, all those different policies, terms of service, you can easily make inside your Shopify using the basic template. That's pretty much all I do there. And then I add it to the quick links in the footer. And then here you can see the newsletter, add your social medias in, always trying to collect those emails for later down the line doing email marketing. And then over here, just a little contact section. So it's saying, have any questions or concerns, don't hesitate to reach out to our amazing customer support here. And then uh, that that here basically just takes them over to the contact us page where we just have a little bit of information about when they can reach out to us when they should expect a response back and now I'm just gonna quickly touch on the top bar here, free worldwide shipping on all orders. So I typically use the top bar to show off the fact that we have free shipping or maybe show off a cool or unique offer. Maybe I'll add like a 50% off or a 75% off, whatever the offer is, I'll usually add that in that top banner bar. Sometimes I'll remove it if I don't think it looks clean, but I think in this case, it went well with the blue logo and the white page and it just all the blue buttons and I think it worked okay. So that's why I have the banner on here. And then lastly, a couple social Social media icons just encouraging people to go follow us on Instagram Facebook Pinterest in the top right hand corner here 
Now, if we click onto the product page itself, uh, like, like I said, guys, all of this is pretty much right out of the box when you install this theme. I haven't really done much uh, with the sides here. I, this product page was built inside of the Shopify product page editor, not so much on this actual page itself. But as you can see, we got the title up here. I'll probably shorten this down actually now that I'm looking at it. The title is a little bit too long for my liking. I like to keep things short and concise. And then you can see here clearly showing people how much in dollar amount that they're saving with this deal that they can get on this product right now. And I believe, yeah, this is the uh, this is the dual screen right now. So we're gonna go over to the tri screen and check that one out as well. Or, sorry, that was the tri screen. So we're gonna go over to the dual screen. And so it's one extra monitor arm here. Save 250, add to cart, buy more, save more. Now this is from Vitals and I'll get into apps quickly in just a second. Again, not gonna go through copyright, uh, but I'm just gonna sc scroll through quickly if you do wanna see this. And if you're wondering why there's all this white space over here on the left side, that's because this is optimized for mobile right now. So if we go over to mobile view, you can see this a lot better. And so why I always optimize for mobile view is because 80 to 90% of my customers come on through their iPhones. And that's just something that I've found with dropshipping over the years. So I always start with mobile and then as my brand grows, I'll definitely build it out in a desktop form as well. So I'll offer the customers a better experience who are coming on their computer, tablet, phone, whatever the case may be. But in the beginning, that's just not super important. And having a clean looking site on mobile is really all you guys need. Beyond that, I usually might throw in a track my order page, but that's really it guys it's super simple and this is a high ticket product as well so I needed to make this look a little bit more clean than usual but I hope you can see how you can literally build these things out with the right theme the right images and content in literally less than 20 minutes and that's what my other video is for too so again the link to that resource will be down below all the links to all the resources I talked about in this video are going to be down below remember this video is your one-stop shop to success with Shopify dropshipping so stick around and extra resources are all down below now time to quickly run through through some apps. So the first app I want to talk about is OP New. Having reviews on your product is so, so, so important. I can't talk about it enough. You guys have heard me talk about it in previous videos, but having reviews is literally massive. I can't even explain how much better it makes your customers feel when they're scrolling on your page and they see 20, 30, 40 high quality reviews with good images of the product, whether it's in its package, whether it's unpackaged, they wanna see that real people have actually received your package in the mail, opened it up, and they're enjoying their product. As silly as that sounds because it's so expected, in today's day and age, people are very skeptical of everything that they buy online and they're only becoming more skeptical, which is why dropshipping is getting harder as well and why you need to be better and better at branding your dropshipping sites. So one thing that comes along with branding is having excellent reviews from real people with real photos. And of course, when you're starting out, you might not have those real people and real photos because you haven't sold any product yet, but you still wanna reap the rewards of showing that your product actually gets to its customers, it actually does what it says it does, and people are having a really good experience buying from you, opening your package, and actually using your product. Now, how we can do that is by using an app like OP New. So you can download this straight from the Shopify App Store. And the really neat thing about it is you can import reviews from anywhere. So AliExpress, Amazon, other e-commerce websites. If anybody else is selling your product online, you can easily import those reviews, even if it's hundreds and hundreds of reviews, straight onto your Shopify store. And these guys are free for a little bit. I think it's like 14 days they're completely free for, and then it's a low monthly fee. Uh, but it's just the perfect review tool that I found. It beats out all the other review tools, mainly because of their one-click import with their Google Chrome extension, which is huge. It bulk imports all the reviews from any platform, pretty much, AliExpress, Amazon, eBay, other e-commerce websites. Saves you so much time. And the one thing that they have over all the other competition, over the edge, over all the other review apps that I've seen, is they have something called smart reviews. I'm not sure if it's featured on this on their website right now, uh, but essentially smart reviews means that it will automatically curate the best feed for your customers. So it'll take the best reviews with the best pictures and it will put them at the very top of the page. Guys, chances are when you're a customer, when you're scrolling on a website, you're not gonna go through each and every review and read every single one. You're gonna briefly glance at the top ones on that first page. And so that's what these guys do, is they filter through hundreds. So imagine you're a big e-commerce brand and you're getting tons and tons of reviews. 
you, you smack on smart reviews with these guys and it's automatically gonna filter the best reviews to the top, giving you the highest ROI instantly. Now here's the price point. So it's $9 a month if you have this side gig, uh, which is really all you need when getting started out. And remember, you got the 14 day free trial on everything. So for $9 a month, you really cannot go wrong. Of course, as you get bigger and bigger, you can upgrade to bigger plans, get more perks, tons more reviews, all that kind of stuff. But yeah, OP New is just the perfect review app that I found. I've been using them ever since I found them and I'd highly recommend it. Gonna have that link down below as well. And then the next app, you guys have probably heard of it already. It's called Oberlo. So Oberlo is just that auto fulfillment app. It takes those products, links them from AliExpress, provides you that centralized hub where you can order the product. It'll fulfill it. It'll automatically shoot up the email to the customer saying the product is on the way, updating with the shipping and tracking information when that's available and just takes care of kind of all that behind the scenes stuff. So it's a really simple app it's for order fulfillment. You set it up, pretty much everyone uses it. If you've watched a dropshipping video in your life before, you've probably heard about it. So that's why I'm not gonna go too in depth with this, but a link will be down below as always. And then finally, Vitals guys. If you've been watching my videos, you know how much I love Vitals and I've never been reached out to by this company. They are not sponsoring me for anything. I'm not part of any affiliate program or anything. I just love talking about them because they are something I've been using since day one on all of my stores. And they're essentially a bundle of like 30 to 40 different apps that build trust, reduce fees, boost reviews, uh, decrease site load time, just so many amazing things that you want in your store. And of course, it would take me a hell of a long time to go through all their features and explain the benefits on every single one. But I have done that in a previous video where I talk about apps. So again, that one will be linked down below. All the resources you guys need down below. But now I'm done talking about these couple main apps, which are the ones that I highly recommend starting out with. Now we can get on to the next component. All right, guys, so now we get to talk about the third and my most favorite component of dropshipping and e-commerce, which is marketing. So marketing is basically the foundation of your business. Let's be honest. There's nothing more important than marketing, because if you're not driving sales through marketing efforts, you're not making any money, which means you're not really a real business. Perhaps you're right. First thing that I want to talk about here is the different forms of marketing. So first off, we have influencer promotions. So influencer promotions um, primarily will be Instagram. I mean, you can promote with influencers on TikTok, but it's not as, I wanted to say not as profitable, but that's not true. You could definitely find influencers on there uh, where you can be profitable. Influencers is like, it's kind of like shooting fish in a barrel. Like you really got to know what you're doing. It's tough. You got to get lucky. Sometimes you're going to flop. Sometimes people have got to it first and dried up the audience uh, with a particular product or a similar uh, interest or niche. Uh, it's just very, very difficult and it's not something I'd recommend everybody to get into. Um, but that being said, if you feel like you're, you want to take a shot, if you have some extra capital to play with, it can be a very powerful tool. Like I'm talking, you can 5x, 6x, 7x, you can get types of returns that you cannot get with paid advertising because it's solely up to the audience of that influencer. So you really got to do your due diligence do your research, figure out if that audience is legit and they're gonna wanna buy your product. And what I say by legit is there's a lot of TikTok and Instagrammers who have a lot of followers, but they don't get a lot of likes and engagements. So you really gotta look out for stuff like that. There's tons of resources and websites. I'll link them down below to help you with all that as well. And then also, I just have one little script here. I just wrote this up in a minute or two. Um, so I'm not gonna read this thing out, but you can pause it, you can take it, you can do what you want with it. I'm also gonna have additional scripts for you guys linked down below for when you're reaching out to influencers. And I have Instagram here because that's the primary platform that I've contacted influencers on. I'm sure you can use other platforms like Snapchat or TikTok and whatever. But again, those are even more speculative and harder to get good returns and you gotta do way more research. Instagram's kind of the go-to for influencer promos. Now let's talk about paid ads. So here we have a little list. We got Facebook ads, Google ads, Pinterest ads, TikTok ads, Snapchat ads, and Etsy. So let's work in reverse. So Etsy is really cool. It's a seller's platform. Almost imagine like eBay like five or 10 years ago, right? And Etsy right now is really good for selling lots of like homemade crafts, stuff like that. But you can also drop ship on Etsy if you're doing it right, if you have fast shipping time, stuff like that. And so Etsy has paid ads 
where it's pretty much you sit back and do nothing. You just run these paid ads and you don't even have to pay for them until you're making sales. So it's almost like you're guaranteed to make a return on Etsy. The only issue with it is you're not gonna be able to scale your business the same way you will with Facebook, Google, TikTok, stuff like that, just because it's overall a smaller platform with less traffic and less hungry buyers in the market. But Etsy is an excellent platform to have set up pretty much regardless of what product you're selling. So I would 100% recommend that. Pretty much nobody talks about about it uh, you should get out there and you should do that right now if you have an existing business or if you're starting a new one think about setting it up at some point as well now we have snapchat ads so i'm not going to talk too much about snapchat ads because i personally just don't use them all that much i will link down below a resource if you want to go through and look through a whole tutorial on snapchat ads and for tiktok ads i'm personally been getting into tiktok ads lately they seem to be doing very very well i've been getting cpms which are like between one and three dollars which is absolutely unheard of with facebook right now or at least in the past year or so i heard way back in the day years ago people were getting those same type of cpms with facebook ads so tiktok ads is almost like early facebook ads like the type of returns people were seeing way back when but there's only one difference and the platform is not as good for conversions if I'm being honest. So for at least from what I've seen thus far, the conversion rates are usually lower than that of running paid ads on Facebook, obviously, which includes Google, but it doesn't matter because the CPMs are so cheap and you're reaching so many people. With TikTok ads, I would try to find products that are viral, that have a wow factor, uh, that can be portrayed in a really short 10, 15 second clip that's primarily audio based. Cause that's one thing about TikTok that you gotta keep in mind is people always listen to TikToks with their sound on. Whereas when they're scrolling through Facebook and Instagram, they don't have sound. So TikTok's largely audio based. You gotta make clever and crafty ads. You can shoot that with literally a ring light at home and your phone. Those ads tend to work out honestly better than pro ads on TikTok because that's the type of content that people are consuming on there. They're consuming content of people who just pick up their phone and start recording. So you can do the same thing for advertisements to make it blend in as if it was an organic TikTok, which will make people watch for longer and hopefully in that time you'll convince them to buy your product. Now, of course, I can't be going through every single ads manager because that will be a full on half an hour to an hour course on its own to go through, set up the pixel, show you guys how I build up my campaigns, structure them, all that kind of stuff. But what I will do is I'll link resources for all these different ad platforms down below. I'll also link my YouTube videos that I've done on Facebook ads. Those will be down below. Those are gonna be really helpful. I show you my full Facebook ad strategy and I'm soon to release TikTok ads, Pinterest ads, and Google ad strategies. So stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, I'll link you down below my best resources there. Now, next up, we have Pinterest ads. So Pinterest ads, very similar to Facebook ads. And sorry, same goes for TikTok. These three platforms, they're basically just wannabes of each other, or at least Pinterest and TikTok are wannabes of Facebook. And they've designed things so, so similar and so easy. So honestly, if you go and watch that video down below after the end of this course on my Facebook ads course, you will probably have all the tools you need to then go and get started with TikTok ads and Pinterest ads because it's so similar. Now, Google ads is quite a bit different and Google ads is just a whole nother beast on its own. There's so much that goes into it with the SEO and the type of text that you're writing in your ads and links and all that kind of stuff, call outs. So with Google ads, what I'm gonna do again is link a bunch of resources. There's gonna be a section down below called Google ads. So again, this is your one-stop shop guys. Do not leave this link, continue watching this course. All links for stuff that go into full detail about certain things that I'm talking about will be down below. Now, finally, we have organic growth. So organic growth is highly underrated and it's really important when you're building a branded e-commerce store moving forward. So this includes obviously the buildup of social media pages and accounts. You wanna be growing your Instagram page, your Facebook page. Now let's talk about TikTok. TikTok, the organic exposure and reach is insane. It's like none other right now. So if you have a brand, if you have a wow factor, cool product, you need to post on TikTok. Just throw up a few videos, Go out once a week, film 10 videos and post one a day. I don't care what you're doing, but get a TikTok page out there, get organic content out there. I've seen for so many products, I've seen clothing brands made by 16, 17 year olds explode and make hundreds of thousands of dollars from a few organic posts that spoke to people and grew an audience. I've seen LED light strips, tons of trending products 
get millions and millions of views, which result in hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of sales. So trust me, TikTok organic growth is huge right now. It's probably the best on this list, but it still is important to have an Instagram and a Facebook account growing alongside. Theme pages. So this could have been in the influencer promotion section, but I also put it here. So this goes for two, two, two different things. So you can either build your own theme page and promote your own products. Let's say you're building a theme page around cats and dogs and you're posting a bunch of cute photos of all these little pets. And then you're also linking in, buy this for your cat, buy this for your dog. And that's how you're making sales and you're growing your account. Now, the other way you can use theme pages is you can just buy them off people, do that, run shout outs, run promos, make money from other people and run your own promos or you can pay other people to make posts about your product on their theme pages or meme pages, stuff like that. Now, these are typically cheaper to work with than actual like real human influencers, so they can have good returns, but bear in mind a lot of these theme pages and meme pages do work with a lot of other dropshipping brands because that is how they make their money, right? They make their money from other dropshippers coming and giving them money to run a promo. So bear that in mind, make sure you're not oversaturating the audience with the same products, otherwise you're likely not to get sales. And look out for those gem pages, find those key ones. Uh, when I said gem pages, I didn't mean the app, which is also an excellent way to build landing pages, side note, but look out for those gems amongst these theme pages and find the right ones that are gonna give you a high ROI. Now let's talk about affiliate programs. So if you've watched my previous videos, you know I'm big on them. When I start a brand and I'm growing it, I always add affiliate programs in and I ask people after they make a purchase if they would like to join it and refer people and make money. It just makes a lot of sense. It gives me a guaranteed return because I set it up. If I'm giving people a 20% commission and my product is costing me 50% of what I'm selling it for, I know that I'm still making 30% on every single sale they bring in. I've strategized, I've made those numbers so that I am making profit guaranteed. And that person is probably happy because if they like your brand, if they like your company, if they're gonna refer your friends, they're also gonna make a little bit of money on the side. So it's just a win-win with affiliate programs and you might as well do it once you're getting the ball rolling and you have a lot of traction. There's a bunch of different apps you can do this with. The one that I typically use is called Seacomb app. I'll put that down below in the description. Now here, the last thing on this organic growth list is Instagram bots. And I have a question mark on the end of this one because this is something I've just been starting to look into. I don't even know guys if it's legal, if you're supposed to be doing it. Uh, I don't know if you want to rip me in the comments for even putting this here, but it's something to look into. That's why I added it. I've seen people have success with it. I've heard a few things, people growing their Instagram accounts like crazy, getting tons of followers, real followers really fast by using these bots. So that's why I threw it on there. If anyone knows more about it, honestly, let me know down below. I know this is my course supposed to be teaching you and talking to you, but I wanted to throw this one in there because it's something I'm currently looking into. But leave a comment if you know anything about it because I've heard some good things from some good people. Um, but yeah, I don't want to talk too much on something that I'm not too familiar with. Now, of course, we've talked about the different ad platforms and ways to advertise, but you need ad creatives. You need videos and pictures, you need content. How are you gonna advertise without content? So I have this website pulled up here and they'll be linked down below. They're called Launch Ads. This is a really cool website that builds your advertising content for you and they do their video delivery in one to three business days. Yes, they specialize in videos which tend to perform better than pictures across Facebook, of course, TikTok, Instagram, and so on. What I found is videos pretty much always convert better because they show the product a lot more, especially if it's a problem solving product, if it's a wow factor product, pictures don't always get it done. In one instance where I find pictures can work just as well, if not some cases even better, which would be retargeting. So if people are already warmed up to your brand, they've already seen your video, they've already watched it, they've already been to your website, all they might need is a nice high quality shot of the photo and maybe some sort of discount code or something. In that case, you can experiment with photos for retargeting, but for most products, I'm talking 95% of products you'll be selling, you're gonna need video ads. Uh, so this brand here, Launch Ads, make exceptional video ads. Uh, there's some viral examples right here. So you can go to their website, link down below, look through their examples. Um, you can pick up a package for them. They've generated hundreds of thousands of dollars of sales uh, for lots and lots of people. And I'll probably have a discount link for you guys down below as well. So by the link, um, I'm gonna ask these guys if they can give a discount to my audience and you can go down there and check out the discount. So it's super easy. 
they, they're super engaging in their first three seconds, tension grabbing thumbnails they include. Uh, they've got a professional team of script writers, they have voiceover people, they do tons of stuff. Uh, as you can see, it's reasonably priced, $40 for a single video ad. But the $55 deal is, is really good. You get three ads or three variations of your ad, which means they're different engaging hook parts. There's different content in each one. They're 30 to 50 seconds in duration. And for 55 bucks, you really can't go wrong. Plus the three thumbnails they give you completely free. Um, they've worked with lots of clients. They've been around for a while. Now the one thing why I wanted to showcase these guys is because they built ads for me in the past. So I wanted to show you one of the ads that they built for me that went viral and made me a lot of money. So that makes a lot more sense me showing you that than talking about anything else. So let me pull this up for you guys right now. This was a pair of heated gloves that I sold over the winter with my business partner, Colin. We made a lot of money on this product. And this is just an example of one of the video ads we got from these guys. Now you will see in this example, a few shots of me actually wearing the product. And that's because custom content is so important. Colin and I just went out and we shot some photos, shot some videos. And what you can do with launch ads when you're working with this company to buy video ads is you can just send them any content, any clips, any photos, gifts, all that kind of stuff, any content you have. And again, custom content is king. So always go and get yourself custom content as soon as you have the product in, as soon as you can. I guarantee you, your results will increase tenfold. Like it's not even close AliExpress content to going out and filming high quality content yourself. Even if, if it's just with your iPhone, it makes a big difference, especially if you're making those organic TikToks. TikTok ads, it's all you need is an iPhone. We did this with my camera that I use for YouTube. We went out, shot some photos, videos, sent those clips into launch ads and said, hey guys, do you mind if you can throw this content into the ads you're making? And they were like, yeah, sure, no problem. So that's why I love doing that. And custom content is king, so you can do the same. Links down below. I'll probably try to get a hold of a discount code for you from this brand, because I've been working with them closely on ads like this, and it should be fine. So check down there at the end of this video if you want to pick up some ads for yourself, just like this. Now, without further ado, let's watch this creative that made us a lot of money. Okay, so if you watch that video, you're probably thinking, wow, that was pretty good. And I've talked to a lot of people and they've told me, wow, that's pretty good for a dropshipping store. You just started like that and just went out and filmed yourself. What made that so good was if you notice the editor who was putting it together obviously made a bunch of jump clips at the beginning. That's to catch people's attention. It clipped between about three or four different shots of the gloves, which instantly catches someone's attention seeing all those jumps flashing up on the ad. Now there wasn't too much text, but the words that were in text did hit hard. So for example, that last line, the future of winter gloves, like that's just a really cool, inviting, it's, it makes you want to know more about the product. Why is this so futuristic? Why is this so cool? Which by the way, it also was a tech product. Of course, it heats your hands and everything while you're using them. So it was a pretty cool product, but that video did a lot of justice to it and it definitely got a high click through rate. Most of the time we were seeing click through rates well above 3%, which is considerably high for Facebook ads. So definitely an ad like that is what you want to strive for, for a product like that or any product really that you're selling. So again, launch ads will be linked down below and that's pretty much all it is for, for advertising is going out there, getting custom content. And of course, in the beginning, if you don't have custom content, you can still order ads. These guys will scrape the internet, find any content they can, whether it's AliExpress or whatnot, put the clips together, put the music, the text, all that kind of stuff. And the ad will at least be good enough for you to go out and get some product validation with. See if there's some success, see if your click through rates are up, see if people are willing to buy the product and then maybe reinvest in ordering the product, custom content, all that kind of stuff that I did and you saw in that video. And now we're on to the final component already, which is backend. And then after this component, of course, I'll leave you guys with some final golden nuggets and recommendations. But this is one of the most important parts. People hate to hear about the backend and like all that stuff that isn't flashy and marketing and whatever. But this is the stuff that's going to allow you to be a long term sustainable brand. So if you're still here, make sure you stay here, guys. This is from here on in the video. This is where the value ramps up even further. So right away with the back end, let's get started. 
Um, first thing we want to touch on is the quality supplier, which I did go over at the beginning of this video, product section, how to find those quality suppliers. But I didn't really tell you once you found them to ensure that they're quality. So something that you want to do once you're messaging them is ask them to see their factory, ask them how many workers, like just be very open with them, ask them, maybe hop on phone calls with them if they speak English okay, or if you speak Chinese or another language, even better. But you really just wanna communicate with them openly and ask them a lot of questions. You wanna make sure they're gonna be able to fulfill orders as you start to scale to 50, 100, 200 orders per day and more. So just make sure you ask them all these important questions, make sure they're quality and that you can count on them in times of need. Fast shipping, also make sure you ask them what type of shipping lines they offer, the estimated delivery, delivery time, all of this is super important. And that goes back to me talking about Amazon Prime offering literally same day shipping out here. They're crushing the game. Amazon is the largest and best e-commerce brand. And basically they're crushing the rest of us. They were just destroying us. And I, I, I love to say that because it's so true, especially when it comes to shipping. But we can try our best guys. We can get as fast shipping as possible. And we'll talk a little bit more about moving into the US later. But in the meantime, when you're shipping out of China, if that's where your factory and supplier is, there are express lines. Don't think you have to use AliExpress shipping. That shipping is garbage. It's perfect for people who wanna order a product and forget that they ordered it and then have it show up at their door in two months. But for the majority of people, that's not what we're looking for in the slightest bit. So wanna ask those suppliers about what express lines they have from China. And then eventually the goal is as you scale your e-commerce brand to move inventory, inventory to the US. That's where your market is most likely, most buyers. And you can get that fast two to three day shipping depending on where the warehouses are located relative to the buyer's location. Now, good quality. This is super important. For the people who forget about ensuring that their product needs to be good, then essentially there's no difference between you and a scammer. Wait a minute. If you're selling horrible quality products that don't work, I'm sorry, you're essentially scamming your customers and you're misleading them with marketing. And and trust me, I've been there and I, I hate to I hate to talk about it, but I've been in that position when I was starting out where I wasn't selling quality products and it led to a lot of refunds, a lot of chargebacks, headaches, issues. And I don't necessarily want to blame myself and say I'm a bad person for doing that. I just didn't know any better at the time. And now I love to make sure I order the product in, as you saw with the gloves and other products that I've sold in the past. I want to make sure I get that custom content. I approve of the product quality. It actually works. It does what I'm saying it's going to do. Those are the things I need to make sure before I'm actually going to bring it to market, guys. Even though you're dropshipping in the beginning, it's a real damn business. Treat it like a real business. Don't treat it like a side hustle. This is serious. You have customers' money on the line. You want to make sure you do a good job phone numbers, emails, virtual office. So as your business is growing, you might not need these things right away, but you can go get a phone number. Just look up business phone number for cheap. Uh, you can start a G Suite or uh, Microsoft Teams or whatever and get your own emails for you and maybe other people who start coming in your company, maybe it's your partnership, maybe you add uh, virtual assistants, you hire people, whatever. But company emails are professional and good as you grow. And then same thing with having your own virtual office. Uh, not, you know, the most important thing in the world, but it's just nice to have and it continues to grow your back end in a solid way. Now, let's talk about accounting and keeping track of funds and all of that. Um, now, I'm not an accountant, and so I've never been able to fully track everything perfectly, quite frankly. Every time I do business, it's there's a lot of money everywhere and it's a whole mess. Um, but then, uh, within the past year, I was able to hire a CPA. So they come in, a chartered professional accountant, they come in and handle all my bookkeeping. And then I have a tax specialist who's gonna handle my taxes. Um, you wanna make sure you're doing all that stuff properly. You wanna make sure you're not getting ripped off um, and accidentally you know, overpaying your taxes or whatever, but you also wanna make sure that you're not ripping off the government and that you're actually paying uh, the correct amount in taxes, what you actually owe, what is right. Always be honest, have integrity when you have your own business. It's gonna go a long way. 
uh, good karma. It's gonna, what goes around comes around. So always make sure you do these things properly. Uh, but for me, it just started off with Excel accounting. So I was literally just tracking in an Excel sheet. I'll probably link that down below for you guys too, the exact template that I used. And it tracked everything uh, from the products I sold in that day to the cost of goods, to my variable expenses. Maybe I was hiring a VA that day, tracked all my expenses and receivables and everything. So I was able to have a good look at basically my profits day to day. And then over time, of course, with just too much money moving in too many different places, especially I started a bunch of different brands, not just one, things just got so confusing and hard to run myself solely off of an Excel sheet. So that's when I had to come in and make the move over to working with uh, CPAs. So that's what I highly recommend for you guys. Start with some Excel tracking, accounting, watch some videos on it, it's not too difficult. And then as you grow and scale and more money's going all over the place, get a team of people who's behind you, who can help you with that. It's gonna pay dividends for you in the long run, especially when it comes down to uh, tax time as well. Now, returns and refunds, touched a bit on this. If you guys clean up everything, as in fast shipping, good quality, quality supplier, all those things, you shouldn't have too many of these to begin with, but it is inevitable you might have anywhere from zero to 2% of all orders might end up in uh, returns and refunds. So you have to be ready for this. Um, in my case, I would just go through and I would just respond to all the refund cases myself uh, when I was starting out. And so these could come through on PayPal if you're using that or as well on Shopify, you'll see the chargeback. Now what sucks about the Shopify ones, I think PayPal actually has a small fee now as well, but on Shopify, if you get a chargeback, you also pay a $15 penalty, which is really disappointing. So that's why you wanna avoid them at all costs in the first place. But there is gonna be the odd person who loves to buy a product and then charge you back and then try to keep the money. And it's just such a headache. People like that, uh, again, what goes around comes around. I can't really say more more on that. So if you're out here scamming people and, and buying things and getting your money back with chargebacks, um, sorry, man, just you got to stop doing that. It's not helping anyone. It's tough for people like us who are starting our new businesses, uh, but that's just the reality. And so you got to work around that. So when stuff like that comes in, you got to have evidence ready. You got to have tracking numbers. You got to show that you ship the product. Maybe the product's delivered. So be ready to upload all that info and then that leads me to my next point here, VAs. Eventually I just get my VAs to handle all the returns and refunds for me. So they're gonna go and submit all that information. They're gonna try to get my money back on those chargebacks and returns. And so the VAs will just handle everything from that point forward. And also VAs are gonna be an excellent tool for you to handle your emails. Once your business has grown to a pretty substantial point, you're gonna be getting tons of emails every day. And trust me, your business is gonna crumble. Always reinvest. If it's just you doing everything and you're pulling in six figures, do not be that person. I was that person and everything came crashing down when it was just me. You need to reinvest and build a team. That's the most important piece of a solid backend is having people that you can count on, you can rely on, you can hit up at any moment, having those people with you. And for me, a lot of that is sometimes just VAs. And so I use a website called Upwork to hire these virtual assistants who can do virtually anything for me. So I can get them to do my emails, I get them to make product pages. If they have that skill, I can get them to help me out with my business. And if you hire these people, sometimes you're only paying them anywhere between like six to $12 if they're working in third world countries, maybe they're working in the Philippines, India, and the wage for them, six to 12 US dollars, goes a lot longer than someone here in the US or in Canada. So they are willing to work for you at that price point. So you can get people to help you out for much cheaper so that you can actually afford it and they're gonna do good work. It's a no brainer. You gotta reinvest once you start making money. Hire VAs, build your team, do it right. Now, let's talk about what happens if you're starting to scale your business, things are going well, you're really starting to make some sales. Like I said before, custom content, custom content, custom content. You need to get that ASAP. It helps out so much in the whole branding of your store. You wanna be a real brand. You don't wanna be a drop shipper moving forward. And that leads me to my next point, which is getting the product into the US. Maybe you're private labeling as well. Maybe you're doing custom packaging and you need to have good quality suppliers like we talked about earlier that have the capabilities to do all of these things for you and can also ship these products into the US. Now in terms of US fulfillment centers, there's a few, there's ShipBob, uh, ShipMonk, can't think of the rest off the top of my head here, uh, but they all allow you to move product into their warehouse and they'll get fast shipping out. Now alternatively, there's some suppliers that have warehouses in both the US and China. So I'm thankful to be working with a few of those. If you guys want those suppliers, 
All you guys have to do is DM me on Instagram. My Instagram will be down below and I can get you set up and get you linked up to some great suppliers that have warehousing in both the US and China. Although they typically ask me not to bring tons and tons of people because it's hard for them to keep up with it unless that person is already doing a solid amount of orders. So I'm gonna say if you're doing like 10, 15, 20 plus orders per day, then go reach out to me. I'll get you connected right away. If you're not, don't worry. Just start scaling first. And once you get to this point, then you can reach out to me and I'll set you up with that. I'm here to help each and every one of you guys get to this point. And then finally, we have email marketing, SMS marketing, abandoned car recovery. Two apps that I use, Klaviyo, SMS Bump, those will be linked down below. Super simple for email marketing and SMS marketing. You just wanna capture all those customers who came through, who never made a purchase, but who were interested, maybe left their email, maybe at the checkout they left their phone number. You wanna keep following up with them, offering them discount codes, don't wanna lose any money on those customers. And then abandoned cart recovery is a huge piece as well. So that one, it's in the settings on Shopify. You can have that on already, but to take it to the next level, you can build flows and sequences through an app like Klaviyo and do a whole lot more with that. And again, this stuff isn't super important in the beginning, but when you're starting to scale and get those orders, more traffic is coming through to your website, you need to clamp down on all of these different aspects. So that's pretty much it for the back end. but now I'm gonna give you guys a few more tips and golden nuggets just overall with dropshipping and e-commerce as you guys get started with your journey. So one thing is I want you guys to avoid AliExpress at all costs. And that means ordering products straight off of AliExpress to the, to the customer. One, we've already talked about shipping being so long. Actually, I'm gonna say in the very beginning, first few orders, it's okay. You know, you might end up refunding these customers later. I understand it. But once orders are coming through, you're validating the product. If you're still using AliExpress, you need to stop. Seriously, the long shipping times, poor communication, zero reliability, there's no negotiating prices. You're not even in contact with the supplier or they have have the little messages but they answer so infrequently on there it's it's actually crazy no perks as in private labeling or talking about custom packaging uh, key insights on products which we were talking about earlier access to other drop shipping stores you get none of those perks on top of that you pay aliexpress mad fees for using their platform so that's why there's all these problems with aliexpress and you need to start talking to suppliers separately from third-party fulfillment companies that we have here are spocket cj dropshipping and source and box so those can be some excellent options for you if you don't have a supplier and you want everything super streamlined easy right off the bat i recommend going to these guys and using this at least in the beginning and then some 3pl companies here for you we have shipmonk red stag and ship bob those are just to name a few you. Again, that's those companies that hold your product in the US and ship them out. And then just on private agents and suppliers, we already went over this, but they're cheaper, better communication, reliability, the warehousing capabilities, white labeling, private labeling, other perks, just an infinite amount of perks. So start building your supplier list. I cannot stress that enough. I talk about that in a lot of my videos. It's hugely important. And a lot of other influencers and people posting on YouTube don't like to talk about this part. They shy away from it for whatever reason, but I'm here to tell you this is probably the most important, uh, one of the most important pieces for sure in a dropshipping business that's looking to turn into a long-term sustainable e-commerce brand. One major key here is there's three different types of suppliers when you are contacting them. You need to be aware of the Chinese dropshipper number one. So that's just a middleman. They're just ordering a product from another Chinese factory to your, to your consumer, and then they're keeping that profit in between, which is just another layer in the process, shaving away at your profits, not what you want at all. What you want is an agent or a supplier. Now, an agent or a supplier probably works within a warehouse or a factory. They have access to tons of different products. They can help you find winning products. You can build a good relationship with them. You can negotiate the prices down. There's just a whole lot more you can do with them. You can probably discuss custom packaging, white labeling, all that kind of stuff. And then the third type is a manufacturer or so again, supplier. The word supplier gets tossed around a lot, uh, but a manufacturer is the person or the group of people who actually produced that product right then and there. Now, what I find about these people is typically they don't speak very good English. So that's why you might have to go through a middleman like an agent first um, in order to get to that manufacturer and work out a deal. But if you can go straight to the manufacturer, it makes sense when you're working at large, when you're scaling, you're doing thousands and thousands of orders and you're moving product directly from the manufacturer to your warehouse in the US 
that's when it makes sense for a manufacturer. Agents and suppliers, great to start out with and just make sure you avoid the Chinese dropshipper at all costs. Some more tips here. So I know there's a lot of different apps that give you all kinds of tactics. Uh, like urgency tactics and, and offers and annoying pop-ups and all tons of stuff like that. I want you to avoid that as best as possible, especially moving forward. It's not super professional. I mean, you don't go to Apple's website and see pop-ups to spin the wheel to win an iPhone. You just don't see that. Uh, it doesn't give people a whole lot of trust and to feel safe within your brand. It's not what the big players are doing. You want to emulate the big players, build your brand the same way multi-billion dollar corporations have built theirs. Every little thing matters, guys. So I would avoid the scammy sites and marketing efforts. They're just not gonna get you anywhere moving forward. They might be good for some quick cash, but it's not the way to a long-term sustainable brand. Now, offers. So for the most part, I'm gonna say stop with the 50% off plus free shipping just because that's the run of the mill drop shipping offer and some people might be catching on to this. You need to create unique, compelling, clever offers and split test them and see what works. For example, buy one, get one free, buy two, get one free, 75% uh, off plus free express shipping. You get the point. There's so many different things that you can come up with and test and see what works best. Now finally, custom professional product photos or lifestyle images, I cannot stress enough how important they are. I would even say lifestyle images are more important than studio photos of the product because they actually showcase a real human using the product and they can bring out emotion in your customers and make them feel like they wanna have the same experience with your product or service. Now finally, custom video ads. Again, you can find people to make them on Fiverr or Upwork, but I do have the link down below for that launch ads company, which I've done a really great job with a lot of my ads. So that's what I definitely would recommend moving forward. And then of course, false claims and stolen content. I have a massive story with this. If you wanna see it, I'll link it down below from another video. Uh, you wanna be super transparent, have original content only. You wanna be, do your due diligence, avoid copyright content, always practice business with honesty and integrity and uphold your own brand image. You don't want any false claims or stolen content. I'm just gonna leave it at that and move on here. So some final tips here is always experiment with the price, split test, split test, split test, everything. You never know what's gonna work the best and a lower price doesn't always mean more conversions. Sometimes people are willing to pay a higher price. If it's a higher perceived product and you build a good brand around it, they don't wanna feel like they're buying something cheap and useless. So with great branding, great marketing, and high perceived value, exceptional customer service, and a customer experience, you can truly build a long-term sustainable e-commerce brand that starts from dropshipping. And with that, you guys should now have an amazing understanding of how dropshipping and e-commerce works. Preach! And there's an abundance of links down below. So all the resources that I was pointing out and talking about during this free course are gonna be down there, plus so much more. I want this to be the one-stop shop for you guys. So if you guys enjoyed that, please give me a like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out so much. I really wanna grow this channel and continue providing value to each and every one of you guys. And don't think I forgot about the custom-built store by me and my team giveaway every single week. And this week's goes to Total Tech Studio. Congratulations and thanks for commenting. Shoot me a message on Instagram and we'll get right in the works of setting up your custom made store. Same thing applies guys, every single week. You know what to do. Go smash that like button for me if you haven't already. It helps me out so much. And again, thank you guys so much for tuning into this course. Send it to your friends, send it to your family. It's gonna be the perfect resource, I promise you, to get you started with dropshipping in 2021 and beyond. And all the links for in detail subjects and topics of all the things that I covered in this course will be down there too. So once you're done going through this course, you can go down there and have a one-stop shop. It's centralized and will show you everything you need all the best resources I've found, and I just want this to be the perfect video for you guys to go out and start becoming successful yourself with dropshipping and e-commerce without going and spending thousands and thousands of dollars. So thank you guys so much again, and we'll see you next week. Peace.